The high winds that pushed the Marshall Fire across Boulder County on December 30th were caused by something called a mountain wave. Here's how it works. Strong winds were coming straight out of the west as a large winter storm moved towards Colorado. The air was stable, which means it can't rise on its own, but the slope of the Rocky Mountains forced it to rise. That cooled the air, which makes it heavier, meaning it's going to come back down. And because it was coming down in stable air on the east side of the mountains, it accelerated much faster as it spread through eastern Boulder County. 90 to 115 mile per hour winds were measured near the start of the fire along Highway 93. In Superior and Louisville, the winds were 30 to 50 mile per hour sustained with a peak gust of 68 miles per hour measured. A channel of air called a rotor set up just east of Louisville. This is caused by the winds just above the surface being faster than the winds right at ground level. Level, something known as speed shear. This helped stop the progression of the Marshall Fire, but it also helped ventilate the fires that were burning in Superior and Louisville by helping the air to rise. These high wind mountain wave events are very common on the Front Range from September to March, but we've never had one when the ground was this dry. The Denver metro area had its driest July through December on record. And that dry ground was dried even further by evaporation in the warmest July through December on record. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.